Hey guys, I was just sitting down to um, paint a new painting and I wanted to show you because I was gonna use a new rake brush um, that just came in. So this is a Qualita Filbert rake brush that I got from um, from Jerry's Odorama. And so I got new ones for the studio. Um, I couldn't find my favorite, favorite one, so we'll see. We have other ones like this in the smaller rake in the quarter inch. This is a half an inch. But I just wanna show you, I know we have videos on how to make rake brushes, but I wanted to just show you very quickly how I cut in in an angle my scissors, even though they're already like cut when you get them, but I cut them again, but I want to show you how they come, you know, um, and then I just kind of like very lightly like trim in there and like cut into it at an angle, okay? And then I'll use it and see if I like it and see if it needs trimmed anymore, but I kind of like it a little bit more um, cut into at the end. So I just want to show you that something very quickly. You can do this with a flat brush too, but um, generally I don't have the new rake brushes um, whenever I'm cutting one. I'm usually cutting it from a flat brush. So I just want to show you like these just came in for the studio. They're the half inch. I wanted um, more of our painters to start using the half inch instead of the quarter inch. They're so used to, they like the smaller ones. So, but um, I think that this does a little bit better of a job. I actually think this is gonna be perfect. Um, it's soft. I can, um, I was just getting ready to paint a painting, but I can pull maybe some black out and go on this paper real quick and show you. But I have a, I have a Easter, a new Easter painting. Um, come with a gnome coming out of an egg. So I just thought I'd try this. And so let's see on paper, it's always a little bit different, but this is actually gonna be perfect for a half inch. So um, I'm really happy about it. The cut on it is exactly what I want, making very nice marks um, that I'll, for, like I can foresee it'll be very nice on canvas. On paper, of course, it's not the same, but um, I'm gonna keep it, it's a keeper. So it's the one I'm gonna use today. Um, and I'm gonna work on this. I know I have my messy chalk marks here from sketching things out. I just sketched out this um, Eastern Room. I wanted one that the kids could do easily as well. Um, so he's gonna be eating a carrot, busting out of an egg with a couple of daisies around him, but I think he's gonna be really cute. Um, last Easter gnome for this season, because we have a few new ones already um, to add to our collection, but uh, you'll see this soon, but let me know if you have any trouble using your rake brush or cutting your rake brush. Talk to you later.